back on lap one with Lewis Hamilton, and it allegedly damages his wing. He reports back the car's fine. Let's keep going. The car behind him is Esteban Ocon. It wasn't even behind him. It wasn't even behind him. A car behind him somewhere was Esteban Ocon. Esteban Ocon gets on the radio and tells his team to tell the FIA that parts are flying off of Magnuson's car and it's super dangerous and driver safety and blah, blah, blah. And they gave him a meatball flag. For those of you that don't know the racing flags very well, that's a uh, a mechanical issue with the car. Please come in for service flag. It's It's a black flag, a command flag. So he gets meatballed to come into the pit to change his front wing, which had almost nothing wrong with it. Now, what's even worse about the FIA just taking this at a driver's word and actually ruining a guy's race, Esteban went up to him after the race laughing, saying, yeah, your wing was fine. I saw one little piece flapping. I figured I'd call it in and make a big stink about it and see what they did. What a bunch of idiots. So he went up to him and was like, yeah, I blatantly lied to the FIA, destroyed your race, which could have multi-million dollar implications for that team down the road. So first of all, opinion on that whole scenario. And two, I couldn't believe that Magnuson's reaction was like, well, yeah, man, you're going to do anything you can to get ahead. So I I get it. He wasn't even mad at Esteban. He was mad at the FIA for listening to drivers bitching on the track. It was totally cool. This guy came up to him laughing. I was like, yeah, yeah, I totally was lying about that. (laughs) What the f***, man? (laughs) Well, Esteban Ocon's a little slimy bitch, right? (laughs) That's obvious. Like, just look at him. I mean, All come right, on. We've had like a low energy kind oh, of meh God, podcast, God. and now 42 minutes in, you're just co- All right, let's go. Let's keep going. I'm going to cut no. 20 minutes from this. No. I want to hear about why Esteban Ocon's a bitch. Well, he literally just explained it to you. I mean, that, the, okay, reason yeah, alone, no, that was a one, pretty good reason. Number yeah. one. Number two is the fact that he, the, the complaint that he had wasn't, oh, you know, his wings, his car's falling apart. Like, let's look after Kevin, right? Even though it was a, a one-sided argument for him trying to get Kevin in pit lane, it had nothing to do with Kevin's safety. He wasn't the car behind, yet he was radioing his team complaining, if that thing hits me in the head, I'm dead, okay? Well, first of all, slimy little bitch, because you're scared, okay, number one. Number two is you're blatantly lying, okay? You're admitting to it, three. And four, you're So. <laughs> yes, I agree on all points. <laughs> and, and now we have, a new, we have a new word that I will always have to bleep now. Bitch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. I mean, so, but I, I guess so, that's. It's so frustrating that the FIA. It's weird that, that nobody was mad at him. Like, did the FIA do anything? Oh, oh, I'm very certain. Not, not that I've read so far, but I'm very certain there were many people on the Haas team that were mad with him when he found Sorry, out. Sorry, I mean, none of that. Like, I'm surprised that Magnuson wasn't mad at yeah, him. Yeah, Mag- Magnuson, I mean, I'm sure he was, but, like, his quote was very, it was very to the point and, you know, like, too logical and not emotional enough almost just being like, well, yeah, if that's something the FIA is going to let happen, everybody's going to do that. I would do the same thing. You know, if that's actually going to work. It's insane that it worked, but like that's not Esteban's fault. God, what a what a what a sh- way to get ahead in racing. Oh, one hundred percent. Well, that's not racing, right? Yeah. Anyways, um, well, that was on that fun. Note, <clears throat> I'm gonna go eat some beef jerky, James. 